Toastmasters, and welcome fellow Toastmasters and guests, and more guests. Welcome. My topic is going to be about dating. It's going to be about dating in regards to what you put up with, you end up with. So let's say it again, dating. What you end up with, you, what you put up with, you end up with. Most of us know that dating for many people is seeing if the sex is any good. And if you go out on a date, we need to figure out how does that actually happen? Where did that come from? Well, a date is originally going to be for seeing if there's any chemistry. And if there's any chemistry, you're going to see if there's a good kiss. And if there's a good kiss, well, you want to see if the sex is any good. But where does this actually come from? This is normal. It's chemistry. It's how God put us together. It's, as my mother calls, the dance of the hormones. I've heard a lot of people over the years say that they would never marry anybody if they didn't know if they were good or bad in bed. To be honest, they assume that, that great chemistry means that they're going to have a fantastic life, that everything's going to work out really well, that there's going to be a lot of things to talk about with their children, but that's just not true. As soon as the sex goes away, that's the only thing that was there keeping you together in the first place, so what do you do after that? What's the solution? Healthy dating is the solution. And healthy dating is three things. Chemistry, of course, common interests, and character. Chemistry, of course, is what makes us make babies. That's normal. That's given to us. But character, that's the secret to happiness. Character is the secret to happiness. Character is what gets spread around in your workplace. Character is what gets spread around in your home for your children, character, and what gets spread around in your community. So let's take a look at one of the common problems of dating, see how we can come up with a solution. Expectations are the biggest problem when it comes to dating. Expectations are almost never expressed. Not on the first date, not on the fourth date. Everybody's too afraid to rock the boat. Everybody's too afraid to upset the atmosphere of romance, romance. Most people hear about other people's expectations when they're in an argument. But that's a little late to hear about someone's expectations. But arguing is one of the best times for you to hear what somebody really cares about as an expectation. And that's the problem with expectations, as defined in the dictionary as something hoped for. During our dating phase, we don't want something hoped for. We want something concrete. We need a boundary something that both parties can agree to. Boundaries. Happiness comes with a price tag, people. You've got to be willing to scare your date to death on the first date, tell them what your life's all about, what your happiness involves, where you're going. Now, it's obvious that you can't express all of your boundaries on your first date, so you need to have an oversight committee within your heart so that as stuff comes up, you lay out the law. Chemistry is not enough for happiness. Chemistry is not enough for happiness. Overseeing our boundaries protects our dreams. An example of a boundary with an oversight on a date. You're on date number three, you're having a great time, and your date turns to you and offers you a big fat line of cocaine. <laughs> you don't do cocaine. What do you do? This is the time for boundary setting. And you've got to set it right now. You can't wait till you get home or next week or next year when you have three children. Now is the time. And here's the magical moment in life where they get to discover who you really are and you get to discover who they really are. Because when it comes down to it, what you put up with is what you end up with. And this leads us nicely into a person's character, both for you character. Do you want to never have another broken heart again in your life? Look for character, not just chemistry. Character and chemistry combined, that's a spicy meatball. That's the spice of life, the combination of character and chemistry. Character is not visible right up front. It takes a thousand dates. But you can find somebody's character easily by investigating if they've had a bad day at work. feeling ill, or if they get fired from their job. That's how you tell somebody's character. 
You need maybe 10 days, maybe 100 days to find your character. Character lasts forever. Don't get good at dating. Get good at finding character. Get good at finding somebody with a positive mental attitude. That will last for your parents, that will last for your children, that will last for your community, that will last for your country. A positive mental attitude goes a long way toward maintaining your happiness, your life, your dreams. Build rapport. Because building rapport is the best way to get the weirdos out of the way. They don't want rapport. And if it's true that they just want to see if the sex is any good, building rapport over a 10-day period of time And in conclusion, healthy dating is three things. Chemistry, common interests, and character. And character is the most important of these three because it lasts forever and it has a legacy. Expectations help us decide what our boundaries should be. So throw your expectations out and open up with your boundaries. Boundaries then need to have constant oversight. And from there, you need to find and develop character with you and the person you're dating through oversight and boundaries. We always want to prevent a broken heart. Character and chemistry together, that's a spicy thing. Thank you. segment called Table Topics, and Table Topics is the time for impromptu speaking. <laughs>